So as of later today, this game is going free on PlayStation Plus. Now, what is it? We're running around in this kind of area that's got people around it, and it's Call of Duty World War II. It's the game that's a little bit different than other Call of Duties because of this kind of, well, it's called a headquarters area. As soon as you're in it, like, you've got loads of other people that spawn in. Where am I on there? I'm second out of the four people. It's not too bad, I suppose. Now, this game's got so many modes in it, and this is kind of just like the little loading area where you can have a mess around, have a practice. You've got a little shooting range where my gun didn't even appear. Uh, but we are going to jump into a game, try and get some gameplay, but this is one that I haven't played in quite a while, so I'm expecting it to be pretty awful. Now, before anything, though, with Call of Duty, you always play it better with a controller that's got the paddles on it or the extra buttons on the back. Because you tend to find everyone jumps around corners, everyone drop shots and stuff, and it's something that's kind of become the norm. So if you are looking for a custom controller, make sure you check out my sponsor controller mods. You'll see a link down below and you'll also see a discount code as well. It just makes it so much easier because when you kind of run in, you can kind of jump whilst you're aiming and you don't have to take your finger off that button. It just makes it so cool to play and it's what everyone kind of does so it gives you the advantage as well. Links down below, make sure you check them out. Now, the one thing that I will say to people that haven't played this, if you play uh, Modern Warfare and you think of the Gulag, this area is that. You can kind of spectate here in the headquarters when there's more people in the lobby, and with the fact that it's going on PlayStation Plus later today, it will end up being pretty full, I'm guessing. Now, before anyone comments saying, why does it say RT at the bottom right? I thought he's playing on PlayStation. We Call of Duty, if I'm honest, I actually play it on Xbox because that's where all my friends play. Um, it's not too bad when it's cross-platform, but otherwise I end up having to play it on my own. And this is a game that I kind of already had downloaded, so I wanted to get some gameplay out there as early as I could without having to do a massive download to get it out there. So let's jump into some gameplay and see if we can get an okay-ish game. <laughs> we have had a couple of games and it is not going well. One thing I will say is the modes that you probably want to play, you're not going to be able to. I'm a hardcore player, hardcore kill confirmed at the moment. There's literally nobody playing it. I couldn't get a single game sitting there waiting for ages. And TDM on here is really, really campy. It really puts me off. And this is going to be one of the first matches that we're going into where we're actually starting at the beginning. Because um, every time I'm swapping game modes to try and get kill confirmed, and I go back to TDM, it's chucking me in like mid game. And the first full game is on shipment, which is either going to be hectically awesome or I'm just going to die every three seconds, which is what shipment's all about, I suppose. Now, it's going to get stressful, it's going to get annoying. And it did do that very much so by playing Modern Warfare shipment 24 7. And I can't see it being much different on here. But let's see how we go. Right, load in. Right, um. I don't even know what class to go for. We need something with an actual grenade. And the only thing that we've got on here is with a shotgun. Oh no. Um, right, we're just going to have to go for it. Right, some dude sat there shooting through the wall in here. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. It's always the same. You get shot from behind, you spawn inside people, you pretty much feel like you're going to get pregnant by some dude. It's not good. I don't even care. It's shipment, I can't play shipment. We're trying, but it's just not going to go well. See what I mean? It's, it's just not going well. I don't think it's going to. Awful. Super awful. Don't even care though. Shipment's one of them game modes where you're expected to do awful. People are kind of literally just shooting through walls. Awful. Try to get your aiming on air as well. It's just not going good. Oh, great. Right. We got our first... I don't even know how to call it in. Oh, there we go. 
it, it's been that long playing this game, I literally have no clue. Wow. Like, I suppose it depends on the positioning. If we can come in an alright place, it's not going to be as bad. But I'm just expecting death after death after death. And our team's losing as well, which doesn't help. Wow. Don't care. Don't get stressed. There's a guy laying on the floor. I've got to say, playing shipment though, I do prefer playing just this game mode on um, core. I'm a hardcore player though. But I tend to find playing shipment on core, I'll do better than I do playing on hardcore. You dodgy dude. He's still there as well, isn't he? No, nope, there's someone around there. Right, we're, we're even at the moment. Like, hopefully we can get in a game on a better lobby. Well, not a better lobby, on a better map. It is so stressful. And it's saying my connection's dodgy, which isn't good. I'm literally just running around corners hoping I don't shoot a teammate. Do you even need recon on here? Alright, oh, okay, we've actually got a streak fill. Kill people. We didn't even get to use it. That is just shameful. Right, we're gonna go on one more map, and as long as it's not one that I absolutely hate. We'll stick it in the video. On a positive note, we came top on our team, even though we still did pretty damn awful. I mean, that amount of deaths is never a good thing, but on shipment, you kind of expect it. And on hardcore shipment, there's literally nothing really much you can do. Now, hopefully we don't get gussed off. That's one of the maps that I absolutely hate. Uh, Gibraltar is not too bad. Um, I'm just going to go classified. Hope everyone kind of does the same. We need a decent map to try and get an okay gameplay out there, because we can't just end with a game on shipment, especially when we play that awful. Right, let's try a different gun. I think I've swapped over to an AR. Like, I've just not played the game for that long. I've completely forgot all the different classes and everything. And I can't remember the gun that I used to use. Dude, get out the doorway. Right, bit of a better start, but you know that's not how it's going to end. I know you're in there. Oh, there's another one. No. I always find it difficult to commentate and kind of talk of when I'm making Call of Duty videos. Like, I'm just not that person that's that multi-talented. I can play well and talk. So if I'm a little bit quiet, I do apologise, but... I'm trying.
Right, I know there's someone there. I'm gonna get shot by him as well, aren't I? Where is the sneaky turds? Oi, oi, oi. Is that guy level a thousand? Wow. I don't think I even played this. Oh, shit. How did I get points for team killing? No. Eleven to three is not too bad, and that would join in mid-game as well. But there you go, a bit of gameplay. It's available at some point later on today. I kind of just wanted to get some gameplay out there early, which is why I'm playing on Xbox at the moment instead of downloading it and starting afresh. Definitely give it a go. Hopefully the lobbies will be a little bit better. Hopefully you'll be able to get in your preferred game mode as well. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll.